Hi there, this is an instruction video put together by Livingston Garden Machinery, uh, just carrying out some general uh, guidelines for checking uh, the oil level. Um, we're looking at a Briggs & Stratton engine here and it's fitted to a John Deere Watt Behind Mower. Um, Briggs & Stratton engines are used widely across a number of different manufacturers. This particular one has been manufactured and built to John Deere specifications. So, um, What we really want to do is uh, draw your attention to the fact that each machine is slightly different and uh, the instruction details specific to your machine uh, will be indicated in your instruction manual. So if you uh, don't have that manual to hand then we would recommend that you would source one uh, from a local dealer. Uh, right, okay. What we're going to do is uh, actually draw the dipstick out. So we would recommend you check your dipstick, uh, your oil level uh, using the dipstick um, prior to use. The machine should be uh, placed on a flat uh, level surface and uh, what you would do is you remove the dipstick, it's a quarter turn and the dipstick, the dip, you remove the dipstick and you can see the, the uh, dipstick here, what you do is you wipe the dipstick so that it's clean. The oil actually on the dipstick at this stage does not give you an indication of the oil level. Then what you would do is you then reinsert the dipstick again back into the holder, you would actually replace it and tighten it, then you would open it again and remove the dipstick and at this point this will give you an indication of the oil level and what you can see here is there's two dots there uh, the lower one is the minimum mark and the maximum mark is the upper dot uh, what you really need to do is to make sure that your oil level is at the maximum mark okay and um, if you find it runs down towards the minimum mark we would recommend that you uh, replenish the oil that's been used okay and um, the next thing is uh, it's a very important note is if the oil level is actually further up the dipstick, say somewhere up here um, or above that dot, then what we would recommend that you do is have the oil uh, removed and somebody, uh, a dealer or your local dealer would be able to help you do that. In order to uh, remove that oil, uh, you should not tip the machine to the side uh, to try and empty the oil out of it. You would actually cause a problem with the exhaust, oil going into the exhaust or oil going into the carburetor. So, um, from there. So assuming that your, your uh, oil level is at the maximum mark, you can then go ahead and replace the dipstick in, make sure that you uh, give it that final tightening quarter turn. If there's some oil that's wiped off or spilled around the machine, then you can wipe it off. If you do need to replenish the oil, um, uh, Briggs & Stratton recommend an SAE 30 oil uh, and you can top that up. Uh, a final note on topping up the oil would be, uh, should you uh, fill the oil, you need to uh, wait uh, one moment, uh, one minute, sorry, in order to let the oil settle prior to then taking the final check. Uh, obviously, you only want to add a little amount of oil uh, to ensure that you do not overfill it. Um, okay, that's everything from Livingston Garden Machinery. Thanks for your help. Um, if you're a local customer and you want any further information, then please uh, give us a call. Thanks. Bye.